this campus in particular is spectacular. Uh, you know, we have very harsh weather for, here from time to time, uh, which is good for actually stress testing a lot of the different renewable energy systems. Um, but when the weather is really nice, it's really nice. So we've got the beautiful El Dorado Canyon there with the snowy mountainscape in the background. We actually have a natural campus that we leave natural. We have elk coming through and all sorts of animals. And then we've got renewable energy and hydrogen systems uh, set as the backdrop. So I come into this every day uh, and it's uh, about as good of an office view as you could possibly hope for. So that's a, a pretty uh, good perk of the job. Uh, so NREL's mission really is to help uh, industry and help other academia and other uh, institutes in developing, testing, and deploying large-scale renewable energy related technologies, including things like energy storage, uh, which would be relevant for hydrogen, uh, among a number of other technologies. So really we try and help with the research and development of these technologies to actually get them out into the field and have an impact in society. So for hydrogen, uh, and the most exciting part going into the future for me is the order or orders of magnitude scale up that really are underway now. There's really big players out there uh, in industry and in investment that see hydrogen as an answer to a lot of the questions on how we deploy renewable energy. And so seeing that scale up in terms of uh, orders of magnitude of power and energy uh, is really exciting. It's in a very exciting time, I think, to work in uh, hydrogen systems in particular. Yeah, so I would say collaboration is key. Uh, for NREL, it's one of our primary missions is to collaborate with industry. Uh, you know, we do research and development here. We don't do manufacturing. We're not actually deploying real systems out into the energy grid. That's the role of industry. And But we want to support that with our research and development. And to make that really impactful, we can't do our work in a vacuum by ourselves. Nobody's really going to learn from that. So instead, we bring in tons of different industry partners together to actually do the research at our site uh, where we can do it in a safe research environment and develop these technologies through the early life cycle and prototypes so that the industry partners play the role of actually deploying these technologies out into the field So Nell's made a number of really important contributions to NREL's research. I'd say primarily it's the stack technology, the electrolysis stack technology. Uh, you know, we've been working together for a few decades uh, to help take that technology from the watt scale up to the megawatt scale uh, through all of the various orders of magnitude of, of power level. And uh, Nell providing the both the expertise and how to build and design and operate these stacks and systems, as well as providing the actual manufactured stacks and products that we use in our research has been really helpful to enable NREL to both uh, work with Nell on specific research projects, but also work broadly with the industry in showing how do we deploy these technologies and integrate them uh, with renewable energy going into the future. Yes, I do think we can uh, fight global warming and I think we are already doing so. We've got an enormous number of folks around the globe already working to tackle these challenges. We're working with tons of industry partners together today with intelligent engineers and scientists that are already working on developing st these technologies. And there's an enormous amount of investment uh, going into all the different technology spaces today by major industry players to actually go and build and deploy these systems at relevant scales uh, for the energy grid. So that transition is happening now.